I almost wanted to walk up through the main door. Ayo. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, today we are at another new launch show flat tour. Show flat, show flat tour. Show flat tour. Show flat tour. And this time round, we are right smack in the city center within D10. the Orchard area D mm. ten. And we'll bring you to this uh, show flat right at uh, Grange Road. Um, and the project name is actually Grange One Eight Six Six. So you can actually see yeah. right over there. So if you are driving, uh, it is just off Cascadian Walk. Mm, uh, Cascadian Walk. Yeah, Cascadian Walk, and uh, you will definitely see this project uh, show flat. It's very prominent. Uh, so here we are. Can't wait to show you this luxurious, very nicely done yes. project. And uh, you will also see later once we head on in. Uh, actually, I think the floor plans and the bedroom sizes are actually designed very, very nicely. Mm. If you're someone who really wants a very comfortable and luxurious lifestyle, I think this is the one you want to check out. Mm. So follow us as we head on in. See you later in there. All right, let's go. All right. So right now All we right. are at the entrance mm. of the show flat right over here. Mm. So this area, actually, I think uh, the entire Orchard shopping bar. I mean, it's kind of like a household brand name. You don't need to. Uh, 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 I mean, a lot of people know about the Orchard area. I mean, you just tell people that you are staying in Grange Road. Uh, you know that, you know that you are in the 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 area uh, of all the the yes. shoppings. You know the Orchard, and we all know that in Orchard area is definitely an area where there's a lot of rejuvenation. Mm. Uh, your A Master Plan have definitely shown that there's a lot of work that's going to be done in Orchard area. Correct. Of course, Grange uh, by itself is not exactly in in Orchard mm. uh, like D nine. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually not very far off uh, from Orchard. You are also very close to Great World City as yes, well. Correct. If you look at the actual location of where Grange one eight six six is located. Mm. Yeah. So. So this is actually um, still part of the District Ten, but we're just one step away from mm. District Nine. So if you look yeah. at the entire Orchard uh, Master Plan development, like what Wayne has mentioned, basically there are four sub precincts. You have the Tanglin area, Orchard area, which is for shopping and leisure. You have the Somerset, which is going to be designed as a youth centric mm. uh, location, and then moving on forward to the Dobby Got area, which is more family centric. Mm. So a lot of new transformation and uh, sort of attention is also being put by the government to kind of live up the entire area. And I think convenience, amenities wise, nothing short of that for mm. you definitely. Yeah, so coming into this project by itself, Grange 1866, let's go into the show flat by the way, uh, is made out of one single block of unit. Uh, total, there's uh, 16 levels, 60 units, yes. predominantly 60 made out of one bader, all the way to two baders. Correct. So uh, one bader, there's only one stack, and yes. then the rest of the remaining three stacks are the two baders. Mm. In fact, the, the bigger unit is actually called two bed suites. Yeah. Right. Uh, over be just I mean when once you come on in, you'll be greeted by this uh, very nicely done up show flat. Uh, of course, you have the reception counter right there, and then mm. once you walked in on your left, immediately you will see this three D side model. Um, this is actually a the Grange one eight six six size side model, sixteen stories all in all, uh, yep. sixty units in total. Uh, total number of uh, car park lots, I believe, is about 48 car park mm. lots. Uh, mm. It's a split between the ground floor car parks, which is only 11 car yes. park lots on the ground floor, and, and then the rest of them basement. is basement parking. Yeah. But of course, you're also just, uh, in terms of location wise, you're just about 8 to 10 minutes walk to Orchard MRT. Mm. You're also super close to the Orchard Boulevard MRT that is on the Thompson East Coast Line. Mm. So I think, in terms of proximity, even if, let's say, maybe you choose to not drive, mm. I think proximity wise to all the transportation nodes, definitely not an issue. Extremely, mm. extremely convenient. Right. Yes. So this project was actually launched last year in 2023. Mm. Uh, mm. As of today, I believe it's about 60 over percent sold. Uh, yep. Total number of units available, I think it's 21 units. Yes. Uh, yes. So I think there's quite a good uh, mm. mixture of units available. I think there's still quite some high floor units still yes. left. A lot uh, of the high floor units, um, and also because there are four stacks available, um, if let's say you have any specific preference in certain stacks, there are still options for you mm. available across all the four different stacks. Yeah, correct. So, so maybe for a start, let's yeah. talk about the side model. La. Yes. Mm. So this is actually the entry uh, way, a small slip rope up towards the project itself and you'll notice that actually in terms of the landscaping and design all these are also done up very nicely to give you a very private uh, entry driveway through hmm. into the drop-off point 
So if you are not sure what this road is, right? Actually, mm. this is Grange Road. It's actually a slip road from the main Grange Road into yep. this small little Grange Road. Uh, I mean, the actual road name is called Grange Road. Once you come on in, this is actually on the cow de sac side of Grange mm. Road. So this is actually the end. Uh, right now, it's on the right side. Yes. So it goes all the way in. The whole entire development is positioned in a way that is, is really north-south. Mm. Yeah, but it's really north-south orientation, but because it is designed like a point block yep, kind of exactly. like design, uh, you have units that is at every corner of the level. Maximum right? privacy Maximum. for all units. Definitely. You will never be able to look into any of your neighbours within Grand mm. Y66. Uh, but I mean, of course, the other blocks then, you know, then they can't be helped. Right. But at least within the lobby, the corridor, you don't have like a long strip of corridor until yes. you get to your unit. Once you come out of this lobby, either you turn left or right, you're right at the doorstep of your yeah, unit. Correct. So a lot of privacy. Mm. Yep. And you also notice in terms of the height elevation, I think this is also something that uh, we want to shout out as well. Um, the entire project, the lowest floor being on level 2, that is, that is actually elevated up uh, mm. from the ground level. Mm. So also that gives you, number one, a lot of privacy. Uh, second thing is it also uh, sort of shields the lower floor units away from some of the road noise, traffic noise and all that. But actually, Not that you get any. La, yes, I think, it's yeah. very well protected by Correct. a lot of the other surrounding projects. So mm. definitely, I think traffic noise is minimal. But I think it's, not, it's a, definitely a nice touch that the lower floors are actually being elevated up. So yeah. it gives you a little bit more vantage point uh, when you view out towards mm. as well. Just to give an orientation of where this mm. is actually located. So I mean, there's a couple of projects around uh, Grand Choi 866. Of course, right over here uh, where we are standing, uh, where these, both these two units will be looking at mm. will be actually 72 Grange Road. Yep. I mean the project name is 72 Grange Road. Right opposite where Grange 866 there will be Manhattan Mansions. Mansions. And then of course on the other end where mm. the swimming pool un is facing. In fact, if you realise the swimming pool, this is actually a very nice long swimming pool yes. uh, for such a small boutique, uh, small development I would yeah. say. Very and rarely to see that. that. It's actually sort of positioned away from your main entry driveway. Correct. And so one of the selling points is about privacy. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, once again, you hear the keyword privacy again. Mm. So you can see that this development really gives you a lot of, uh, you know, your, your own personal space mm. away from the public, you know, yes. even if you're enjoying yourself in a pool, uh, you will not have anybody that's like walking along the road that be able to look up and look yeah, at you. Exactly. I think right. it's the best of both worlds. You get a lot of privacy within your own home ground, mm. but yet you're in a very sort of convenient location. Mm. Uh, all your amenities, groceries are just right outside um, the, the street. So yeah. very, very good location. Right? So anyway, this mm. development where we are standing, where these two units will be looking at, this will be the park, the mark. Yes. The mark the at mark. Patterson Hill. Correct. Yeah, correct. So that is generally the developments around uh, Grange 1866. Mm -hmm. In terms of facilities, I would say that this is pretty much, uh, you know, basically you get everything. Yes. Except tennis court. Correct. For, so in, for all the checklists la, for, for developments of projects. Precisely. I think for like a, a very 60, very exclusive 60 unit mm. development, in terms of the facilities, um, the, the number of facilities provided as well as the size of the facilities, I think it's very, very nicely thought mm. out. You have a long strip of a lap pool right over here, a small pavilion. Mm. with some sun deck overlooking your main pool mm. as well as the gym and an outdoor shower right over at mm. this corner and you notice all this is also fronting towards the other end away from your main entry mm. so this again gives you the exclusivity that coziness mm. within your project itself yeah mm. so uh, if you see the whole site model, this is the very interesting stack, which is stack number three. Yes. So this is actually the two beta suites, yep. uh, which is the more the premium, bigger size, the yep. more premium size unit. Uh, you realize that uh, it has an alternating kind of like balcony view. So mm. there are certain levels like two. This is uh, this should be four or five. So four and five will be facing towards uh, the east view. Let's say yep. for example, this is the balcony facing towards the east view. Then the next two levels, which is like six and seven, will be facing mm. towards the north, which is the Mark and Patterson view. Yes. So you only have this particular two bedroom suites yep. stack only that has stack. this mm. alternating kind of like view. Correct. Whereas the rest of the other stacks will be all basically fronting the same, yep. uh, the same direction. Mm. O4 stack, this is the smallest yes, bed. The one beta. The one beta. This is the one beta stack. Mm. So for stack four, the one beta stack, you're actually uh, fronting more towards 72. Patterson uh, residence. Patterson, oh, oh yeah, 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 Patterson, Patterson residence side. Yeah. Yes. So, so this is the, the stack, this is the uh, over here, here, this will be like the Patterson Hill Road. Yep. La. 
Yeah. So you can see that the distance away is already a very good distance away. Mm. Then of course this will be the ramp down into the parking, the basement parking. Yeah. yeah. You even have a BBQ gourmet terrace here. Again, I think um, what I also like is that different facilities are also segregated away. Mm. So you can have another family chilling over here. Another family can be enjoying their time down over at the BBQ gourmet terrace. Mm. Another very private uh, space within the project itself as well. And you can see that the developers purposely place it right at this corner of development mm. is also to you know give a bit of distance from the yep. residents okay. and and all the activities in, in the event if let's say you have a, a gatherings right there yes. I mean, it gets a bit more noisier okay. at least it doesn't really disturb the occupants as well as the fumes the aromas mm. from the barbecue <laughs> sometimes if uh, uh. the lower floors you know if it's placed too close um, some neighbors might not uh, find it so convenient so i think this is a very very thoughtful design as well to mm. give it some setback yeah mm. Sure. Come. So this is the basically what you once you come in, you'll definitely be seeing. I think one the the mention the, mm. the marketing lady mentioned to us that every floor is also quite high, right? Yes. It's about three so meters. From, correct. So for the floor to ceiling <coughs> height, you are looking at about three point one, three point two, which right. is definitely a luxury in today's context because mm. a lot of the other mass market condos are probably also look at two seven, two yeah. eight. That's pretty much your average. Yeah. these days so definitely um, great ceiling height and you notice over here it's also full uh, sort of a glass facade mm. uh, that allows you to look out there's no bay window no planter very very efficient yeah. uh, very efficiently designed maximum light yes, yes. yeah so you definitely and, and plus the fact that it's because it's point block right mm. so you definitely get uh, light all in exactly. all coming into Correct. all of your units your balcony your bedrooms your living rooms because yeah. I personally I like a brightly lit me too. You know, no, no one likes a, a dim, dim unit. So I think this also will really uh, attract a lot of bias in mm. the area. And I think just um, looking at the whole architecture itself, it's a very modern des design. And I think it's very refreshing around the Grange area because a lot of the condos there, some of the older ones like San Chu Grange mm. Road, also belong to the um, older generation. The older kind of generation, design, yeah, but a bit more nostalgic charm. Mm. This one gives it a very fresh and uh, modern look. Uh, mm. within the entire landscape. So I think that is also what the developer and uh, architect wanted to achieve. Mm. A very more modern design yep. in the area. Mm. So of course, the next thing that right beside the show flat, what you will see is also like, uh, I think right now, right now it's very modern. I mean, right now it's very common to see uh, this kind of like touch screen interface that allows you to even have like, a, let's say a drone view. Right? So let's say for example, you are in a development. So what they will, they can share with you is that, you know, these are the things that you will see, you know, like Great World City. So. These are all very nice uh, design that actually allows people uh, to have a view of what they may potentially see if they are on a higher level. Uh. Mm. So of course you have your facilities over here, uh, facilities map. So you can see that this is actually a lab pool, you have a jacuzzi, you know, as what uh, Joanne has mentioned. Yep. Sensory gardens right over here, uh, number 12, which is uh, yeah, right here as well. Mm. So all in all, uh, I would say it's a very decent uh, kind of like facilities mm. for this development. I especially like the pool. Uh. I mean, very rarely you can find such a long yep. lap pool uh, in, in the orchard area. Mm. Okay, so coming over here, uh, probably the next thing you will see is also, this is actually the site map. Uh, as all development, you will basically see a very big map and then it will showcase to you like where the development is. So this is Grange 1866. Mm. Uh, it's a freehold development. Yes, freehold. Mm. I think that is definitely something we want to shout out mm. uh, as well because if you have been following a lot of our new launch uh, review series, studio shoots and all that, you will also understand that freehold new launches are actually extremely rare. Very, a lot very of the rare. new launches that we see through the past few years or even this year coming mm. uh, belong to the 99 years kind mm. of so, so freehold uh, new launches is extremely rare in today's season. Government is not releasing any more freehold land plots. So, mm. for you to be able to grab hold of uh, freehold new launch development, I think these are probably one of the few projects left. Um, especially so when we are in such a prime prime location uh, as well. So definitely, this is something that we want to shout out and uh, will attract that that pool of buyers who's looking for freehold mm. in a prime land. Right. Yeah. Great. So this is the location, Patterson Hill. I mean, of course, right over here, you definitely have one of the upcoming uh, projects, which is like a well Hill. Mm. This is a 99 years project yes. uh, that's located right over here. Uh, but where you are, you are definitely very close towards the Orchard Boulevard, MRT yeah. Station, which is around Orchard this Boulevard area, around the One Tree Hill mm. area. And then, of course, your Orchard is right over here. So this is more towards the quieter part of Orchard mm. area, la, the Jalan Anak. This is whole entire Leonard Enclave, mm. the Kim Lin Park. Yep. Right. So, of course, when you look at the whole entire bigger map, then definitely you know that you are very close towards the whole entire shopping belt. 
you are very close towards Great World City, you know, you are minutes away from Ion, Takashimaya. Uh, education wise, I think it's not a lot, but mm. I think there's still uh, some very good renowned institutions yep. as well. Hmm. And also, if you notice, uh, along this entire area, there are also a couple of embassies uh, uh, that are nestled within this entire enclave. In fact, all these uh, projects uh, sitting along Green Road, this uh, cluster over here is definitely a very upmarket uh, region within Orchard because you have a lot of very high-profile people who are hmm. working in the embassy, hmm. a lot of high-profile people who are also staying within around here. So definitely, your neighbours uh, along the Grange cluster are also uh, definitely uh, of, of, a, of a different segment as well. Hmm. Very very exclusive area. So if you are buying for investment, probably mm. you know that your tenant pool is going to be those that is more of the upmarket kind yes. of like tenants. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, so now let's take a look at the actual show flat unit. So in this particular Grange 1866 show flat, you, they have actually done up two units mm. uh, for show. One of them is actually the one bader, which is right over here on the left side. And then on the right side, that will be the two bader. This will be the type B1 stack. And this is a type A stack. Mm. So let's take a look at the one bader first. Um, of course, you know, when you talk about project in orchard area, definitely you talk about lux, luxury. Yeah. So in terms of the materials that they use in the whole entire units, from the one bader all the way to the two baders, marble flooring, number one, uh, standard. Yes. They, they don't really care whether are you a one bader or two bader, they just bring in a marble flooring. For your entire living plus mm. your bathroom. So it's right. held up full marble, uh, fully cladded in marble mm. all the way. And of course, the ceiling height, as we mentioned, very luxurious. Mm. So as all show flat you need, so you realize that you're always coming from the balcony, but yes. that's usually, uh, you know, your main door is just right over there. Mm. Yeah. But of course, the balcony size, again, you look at it, uh, I think when, when I was looking at the brief for the whole project, mm. what really drew my attention was how squarish mm. and how efficient all the floor plans are from mm. the one bedders all the way to your two bedders. There's no sort of long foyer entrance, there's no uh, sort of slanted walkway. It's all very squarish, very, very optimised mm. uh, kind of floor plan. So once you look at your balcony, again, a very decent size for one bedder. Actually, mm. some of the two bedders uh, might even have a smaller balcony than this. This so is this a, a five hundred and twenty-seven square feet. Yes. Five two seven square feet unit. Mm. Uh, as of the time of filming right now, there's about two. There are four units four available. Units. Yeah. Uh, starting from level 9, 10, mm. 11 and fourteen. The lowest price for these units uh, right now, I think, is about one point six eight million dollars. Yep. PSF is about three point one, three point yes. coming close to three point two PSF like Three point two K PSF. Mm. Uh, of course, the higher the highest floor unit, which is level 14, uh, which is like two stories shy of the top floor, this is going for $1.756 mm. million. Dollars. Right. Yeah. So PSF-wise, I think uh, you see a very, very good opportunity because a lot of the 99 years around here, so around the, correct, are already closing up towards the 3,000 for mm. 99 years uh, kind of new project. Mm. So here, I think you are really buying in with the disparity uh, mm. gap in mind for the future. So coming back to the unit interior, Full marble, I think living room size, very generous. This is not a studio, I think it's a proper one beta because you yes. have that segmentation within your living from your uh, bedroom rest area as well. Mm. You know, even the moment you step in, right? I mean, of course, uh, the door size, I'd say this is pretty standard mm. kind of door size. You don't yeah. really get those very, very big kind of like door where you have probably like uh, two parts kind of like door. But this is definitely a very good size door. Uh, it has even like some accent uh, kind of mm. design on the door itself. But what I want to bring to you, the attention is that the moment you step in, yes. the walkway is not those kind of like very narrow kind exactly. of walkway. Exactly, that's what I wanted to point. Yeah, well. correct. This is this towel, if I'm not wrong, should be about 60 cm towel. Yep. So you have two and about half towel. So mm. this is about 1.5 meters yes. kind of like width. width. Right. And that is actually from the door. Yeah. So even behind the door, there's a certain depth. This is about also another about 60 cm as correct, well. Correct. So easily you have quite a f uh, close to about two meters kind of like gap mm. over here. But the moment it comes in, it doesn't really feel very claustrophobic. Yeah. And mind you, this is a one beta. Yes, this is just right. a one beta. So I think, um, again, in terms of the design of the unit, the width are nicely thought out. The ceiling height is also mm. very generously spaced out, which is why once you come on in to this uh, uh, unit interior itself, you really don't get that very sort of uh, cramped up mm. feeling. It still feels very comfortable. Mm. You feel very at ease. Mm. And then on the right hand side of the main door, mm. this is actually where you have your bath. In fact, again, very luxurious in terms of the size. Yeah, man. Wise. Just look at Full me marble. standing inside here. This is the one bedder. You have so much walking space in the bathroom. 
Oh. And I love that there's a lot of uh, 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 so space for you to do up carpentry, storage and all that. I think these yeah. are not even ID treatments. I think this is what it comes with the, with the, the, the whole entire development. Mm. So you can see that the whole entire vanity area is actually v is, is very big. Very like hotel. Very, yeah, 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 exactly. Like a hotel right. suite. It feels like a hotel suite, yes. right? Um, the the uh, all these facades, all these are like Duravit. Uh, mm. Let's see what's this brand. Oh, Jesse. Jesse. Yeah. Jesse. Yep. Another top European brand as well. Mm. Uh, standing shower area. You have your rain shower that's built in by Jesse as well. Very nice, kind of like touched finishing. Yeah. And this most are, importantly, there's a window mm. for your one bedder. So so definitely yeah. you don't have to worry about any uh, moisture or mold mm. uh, build up. Again. Lots of storage, even more display shelving right at the back. Plenty of storage, I think. No lack of storage. And I also like that this is actually kind of like a Jack and Jill. Mm. So if you do have guests that's coming over to visit you, close you can actually door. just close this up so that your guests don't have to uh, sort of uh, pass through your master bedroom to get to the bathroom. Mm. There's an easy access way right over here with your uh, sliding door as well. And I think uh, it's an interesting concept that they actually use a timber Sliding door for that Sliding corner, door for that. And then this and is, is a swing, swing door, door. That links to your master. Mm, right. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I think likely the swing door may be swinging here. Mm. Likely. It depends. So we do not know. Yeah. But it's a swing door uh, for here. So you can just lock it up. You can just have one access mm. right over here. But maybe before we go to the bedroom, yeah, let's, let's go to the kitchen. kitchen Come. So the moment you step in, of course, this will be your end of the whole entire kitchen. So this is like an open kitchenette concept. Yes. But uh, it is a very modern design. Uh, definitely have your DB area right immediately the moment you step mm. in. Alright, and I think this should be... Oh, yes, your fridge. Your integrated, uh, integrated fridge. fridge. So again... Um, I don't see the brand, nicely, right? Dana, oh, Diditrich. Yes, Diditrich right. brand. Um, it's very rare. Similar, correct. Similar to the rest of mm. your appliances, right. Diditrich, well. Diditrich yes. as well. Uh, this is what yeah, brand same. is this? Let's see, Norica. Tap is by Jesse. Mm. Similar to the bathroom, and um, actually, my personal thing is that I really like that your top cabinets is actually recessed in, uh, because it gives you a better sort of feel. You don't have that very tight head space, especially for mm. uh, the buyers who some of them are pretty tall. Sometimes when mm. you're doing cooking, if the top cabinet actually stretches out all the way, mm. uh, you might find that it's a little bit uh, inconvenient. So I think, mm. again, very, very thoughtful uh, lifestyle designs mm. over here. I think all these are, yep. these are all very standard. So of course, your one bather, washer, uh, your dryer. washer dryer, yes, built in right over here as well. Mm. Is it by DD switch? Yes. Mm, right. So, this is a bit the living area. Uh, living area, I think, is pretty standard. Uh, I mean, of course, because of the layout of the kitchen, yep. then, uh, I mean, the, the area where you have your sofa is basically being restricted in mm. a sense because of the, the countertop space right yep. over there, uh, where it's right beside the washing machine. So, likely, probably, this will be like, uh, I think this is still good enough for a compact three-seater. bed, uh, three -seater. Yes. If you want to go for a more uh, spacious, kind of like two-seater, definitely you can fit in very comfortably mm. right over here. Yeah, in mm. fact, the distance, uh, we have seen some two, three-bedders uh, sort of wall to TV distance is not, probably not even as generous as, as this. this yeah. yes. So I think, again, a uh, very luxurious kind of setup right over here. And of course, you can place your dining right in the balcony. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is where they designed it to be. Mm. Uh, right. But do take note, when you walk into this show flat, you notice that this is actually a glass yep. that sits into your master bedroom. This is an ID, ID treatment. Mm. So this should be a wall, right, where you can actually put in your TV. Yes. Right. So coming into the master bedroom, the flooring in the master bedroom, uh, or rather in all the bedrooms, are all parquet flooring. Yep. Yeah. So they use the good quality kind of the material. Parquet flooring, this is actually a queen size bed. Um, very good. I would say area over here uh, that's leading into your walk-in closet. So the other selling point mm. for the units right over here is that um, every unit feature a walk-in wardrobe. Yes. For your master bedroom. Right. Because most of the time you do notice that your wardrobe in your rooms actually line up right beside the bed. 
and that's mm. where you have the door. But right over here at Grange uh, 1866, all your master bedroom, the Mr. and Mrs., you get to enjoy a sort of small little mm. uh, alcove right over here where you can place your walking wardrobe. And that gives you a very nice segue into your bathroom. Mm. And because of that, you do feel that your bed uh, placement of the bed area is very very comfortable yeah. in size. I mean in fact I can even imagine some of those want to play a, place a small little desk right over here to do your work. It's possible uh, as well. Vanity, uh, sort of dressing table or even just another massage chair, armchair. I think very luxurious right over here. This mm. is definitely a, a luxury in space. If you want to compromise market. the space a little bit over here, mm. you can still go for a king size bed yes, as well. Exactly. Right. So, yeah. uh, and the other good thing about this one bedder unit is that because as we mentioned, right, all the units is all at one corner of the block, yeah. right? You basically get two sides you know, kind mm. of like windows, windows that allows the lights to come in. There's even, uh, if I'm not wrong, there's about four panels of windows. Yeah, you get four mm. panels of windows that you can open. The centerpiece is actually fixed, but you know, this gives you maximum light that, you know, that comes into your bedroom, you know, and, and it basically, it, it, it helps is great. to illuminate the whole space as well. Yeah, it brings in the warmth. It helps to, you know, uh, it, it cools off all the moisture mm. as well, mm. right? And, and this is actually the... Walking, Walk, walking closet. Yes. This is by developer. Yes. This is the ID treatment. So do take note. So what yeah. you get is actually, I think every unit they basically we'll get this display, uh, the back display, of, right? Yes. So for the ladies who have a huge collection, mm. I think this is a great space for you to display all your prized possessions as mm. well. Mm. Yeah. So they actually designed this uh, pullout mm. for for the ladies to display their, their handbags mm. or their bags. And then the rest, these are all your, your hanging clothes area. You have your folding clothes, your display of your accessories. Yeah. And it runs all the way up. Even for, you know, if you have any foldings like pants, you even have this as well. Mm. So I think this is all very nicely thought through. Very modern uh, kind of design you know. for the modern day, modern day uh, Living. Owner. Yes. Mm. Right. So this is uh, the one beta. I would say that this is, uh, you know, very efficiently mm. designed. You know, all the space is maximized. You get a good space, master bedroom. You get a walk-in closet in, in, you know, for your master bedroom as well. In the living room, you get a very good, spacious uh, living area. It doesn't really feel very cramped uh, and small. Even the entrance area is also uh, very nicely done up as well. Dining, unfortunately, be outside in the balcony, but I think that's pretty much... But it's um, a very good size okay, balcony. You're right. Yeah, it's a very good size balcony. Four seater, I mean a small chill out. Mm. I think not a problem. Very good right. size. So now let's take a look at the two beta unit over here. I almost wanted to walk up through the main door. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, uh, on, on the show flat. <laughs> so another show this is the uh, two beta unit. So this is the T B1 stack, um seven one zero square feet. Over here, so this will be the one that is actually fronting, uh, towards uh, the main the, entrance. Yeah, the main entrance lah. So Central this is the main entrance. Green. Right. So number four is the one that we've seen earlier on, which is the one beta, mm. and then right opposite this is zero one stack. This is uh, the two beta stack. Yes. Right. So the two beta stack. Uh, okay. this yeah. is a bit different in layout. Yeah. Also, it's a this bit is a dumbbell layout. Mm. So you have your two bedrooms actually on your left and right. Mm. Again. Very, very optimized kind of floor plan. You don't have any wastage of space mm. walking towards the corridor area. No long foyer. Mm. Right. So let's take a start uh, once again from here, the main door. So the moment you step in, these are all ID treatment, but at least you get you know some little storage area where you can do your shoe cabinets. Yes. If I think you want to do that, this is a very good idea. This is a very good idea. Yeah, because so you have this small little. This recessed. is like a recessed yeah. area. Yeah, so great for you to do up some carpentry. Important as well, window yes. because usually for foyer area when you mm. have this kind of like foyer, mm. you know, and, and especially so that you have an open kitchenette, right? You yeah. definitely want some kind of like ventilation, yes. right? Yes. So this actually comes in very useful, you know, for light, for airflow as well. Mm. Your distribution box is just right opposite over here, and then right opposite, right beside it, yeah. this will be your built-in detritched. Yes. Fridged, mm. right? As well as the freezer compartment mm. at the bottom. And then similarly, plenty of storage, your oven. Right over here, appliances wise, pretty much similar to mm. the other one better layout. And then this is where you have your washer come dryer, mm. plus even an additional uh, pull out mm. drawer for your two better 710 square feet. Mm. Yeah. It's interesting that they use a different color hue mm. for this. Yep. To denote the extra, oh, it's a quite a nice design though. Mm, mm. 
Yeah. So opposite okay. here, of course, this would be your. This is a two bit one bath, right? Yes. Yeah, Correct. two bay one buff. So two bay one buff are the smallest of the two bayer. So two bay one buff, you get a Jack and Jill once again for your bathroom. Yep. Maybe we'll cover that later on because mm. I think this looks pretty similar, similar to the one bayer. Correct. So it adjoins to your master. This is your bedroom two. Yeah, let's take over a look at the smaller side. bedroom here first. So over here, um, I think right now the the developer has also sort of set up this show flat unit with a single bed that's mm. towards this side. You have your building wardrobe that runs all the way to the ceiling. Mm. So I think the higher compartments is great for you to fit in some luggages or some of your rarely used items. But otherwise, very good size. Just well. a bit of context, right? Just mm. just what we mentioned uh, about, you know, that kind of walk-in closet yeah. versus a normal kind of wardrobe in a mm. bedroom. So this would be like a normal wardrobe kind of bedroom. Yes. Where you walked in and then the wardrobe is actually at one corner, Correct. right? Exactly. So some of the one bader units mm. usually will feature this kind of wardrobe, yes. right? But what you get in the other the earlier one bader mm. is a big, basically a walk-in kind yes. of like concept, Correct. which you will see in the other master bedroom. But then again, if you look at this particular wardrobe, I'll say that this is also very nicely mm. done up. You have your light. Uh, that allows you to illuminate the interior and it's not just an ordinary light strip mm. so if you realize the kind of like design that they put in so mm. most of the time you realize that the light strip is just there and then when you opens up the light basically will just like shine outside mm. and sometimes when you open up the wardrobe you realize that you will actually disturb the person that's like yes. resting in the room yes. but for this they actually designed this little alcove that allows mm. the light to be blocked from mm. outside but still it can shine inwards as well yep. so these are some little touches that you can see that the developers or even the id when they design this mm. whole entire thing they have thought, thought through the whole entire usability mm. very very detailed uh, mm. design with the end consumer um, in mind as well yeah and then, and then over here yeah. this is something that is very common nowadays that you yeah. see so they make use of the side of the wardrobe to utilize the space mm. most often you will see like uh, you know a swing door you opens up yeah. you'll see a glass inside there uh, you have some little hooks for you to hook uh, for the ladies you hook mm. your accessories and yes. stuff uh, you put your perfumes right over here mm. but this one is more like an open concept mm. uh, but of course you get this little swing door at the bottom where mm. you can maybe uh, do some shelving inside. I don't see any shelvings right now, but yep. I think you can do some shelvings if you want to. Easily doable. Yeah, then at least you can conceal mm. some things inside this compartment, whereas the rest will just for your display. Mm. Yeah, I think this is something uh, a very, very nice touch as well. Yep. Mm. All right, let's see the master bedroom. Is this bigger than the one bedder? Uh. I think it feels bigger, right? Or I think it's the same. Approximately about the same. Approximately about the same. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. This is still a queen size bed. Yeah, mm. I think it's pretty much the same because yeah. this is the same area where you mentioned that you can put in like the, the study, desk, like study desk, right? Or your vanity mm. dressing table. Likewise, two sides. Mm. We have windows, yes. right? A lot of light coming in. And then with and your walking wardrobe, uh, yeah. with the same um, display, shelving mm. right over here. Yeah. So this ID treatment, this is mm. from developer. Ladies area, and then this is basically for maybe the gentleman. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Otherwise, I think this is pretty much the same. Very la. comfortable inside. I think, especially when you're in a again two bedder, mm. um, very hard to find this type of layout mm. uh, that gives you that comfort. Uh, right within Orchard itself, especially when the land prices here are so um on the higher end, so much on the higher mm. end. Yes. So for this B one, uh, this is this two bedder. Uh, there's this two bedder layout. Basically, there's only three units available. Mm. Uh, level 13, 14, and fifteen. Pricing starts from 2.2 million all the way to 2.24 million all the way to mm. 2.26 million, I beg your pardon. Uh, PSF is about 3,100 plus PSF, uh, which is still pretty much standard yes. across. Uh, so you basically get three units right now. If you're, I mean, of course, four units if you're the factor in the top floor, which is level 16. Yeah. La. Yep. The, then, of course, you have your much bigger two bedrooms uh, that is basically your two bedrooms plus. The, the, they call it the suites. Mm. Uh, then you get two bed, two bath, two bath. Kind of configuration. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, they don't have it in a show flat right over here. Mm. So coming into this bathroom, I think this is pretty much standard as what you have seen earlier on. You get a window for ventilation right mm. over here, which interestingly is also this shared window yes. right over there. So I think it's also a good thing as well where you get a window for your interior. Mm. Do you see a window in the master one bedroom? I don't think so, right? I don't recall a window no. in the one bedder. So this one you get a window over here to allow you to have some ventilation mm. in the wardrobe area. But otherwise, you know, it still pretty much gets the same full marble kind of feel. Bathroom similarly. Um in fact full marble all the way to mm. your living corridor area. So definitely this is a very, very luxe, very premium mm. uh kind of uh finish. 
as well. Yeah. So if you are interested to find out more about this Grange Y866, I mm. think the, the beauty of this project definitely is a freehold status project. Yes, freehold. Uh, if you are in the develop if you're in the market to look for a small development, you know, mm. not a lot of units, uh, and you get you no know, kind of like privacy, you yeah. want to stay pretty much in an orchard Correct. precinct area, you want to be closed uh, but not really smack in action. Yes. Uh, Pricing wise, I would say that it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty much a pricing that is very yep. close to the ninety nine years kind of pricing. Yes, uh, and, the and exactly, you are staying right so close to Orchard, like what we mentioned. But you're not paying that sort of Orchard kind of pricing mm. because a lot of the other developments, a lot of the other high end developments within Orchard area, even for ninety nine years, you're looking at way over three thousand uh, kind of PSF for right. ninety nine years. So definitely, I think this uh, really is suitable for buyers who want a very exclusive. Um, mm. development, a lot of privacy, yet you want to be in an area that is very nicely connected with all your amenities, shopping, food, transport, um, yet you don't want to pay that kind of high-end prices. Mm. You want somewhere in between. I think this is a very, very good uh, balance between all the different factors that you're talking about. Um, if you're keen to, I think, arrange for show flat, I just want to find out more mm. about the development. Just feel free to contact any of our new launch consultants yeah. over here at right. PLB. Okay, so that's all for Grange 1866. Uh, do come by if you are in the market to look for one bidder, mm. two bidder. Uh, the pricing wise is pretty much, uh, I would say, you know, just come to us. Uh, we can share with you the latest pricing. Yep. Uh, and we are more than happy to share with you, you know, some of the stack analysis, the units uh, that's available right over here in Orchard area. Mm. Um, if you come consult our team. Mm. So with that, um, thank you very much for staying throughout this whole entire Grange 1866 show flat tour. My name is Wayne. Joanne. Property Lean Brothers. Brothers. Always, always happy, happy to show you the place. Mm.